about two and a half years ago, me and two of my friends were sitting at some cafe and we're discussing about work. How is everything going and what are the future plans? Now, these are my school friends and one of them happened to be a marine engineer and the other one is a software engineer working in TCS. So the one who is working in TCS is also into teaching. He basically teaches coding and also teaches few high school students and prepares them for entrance exam. Now I myself is into teaching and coaching and the business aspect of it for the past six, seven years. So I was very inquisitive to inquire how he does what he does, what tools he uses, how he manages his students. So he told me about one of his future plans was that to make course and upload it on Udemy. Now I had heard Udemy for the first time. So I did not know anything about Udemy. So after I came back home, I searched for Udemy. And for those who don't know anything about Udemy, Udemy is basically a course marketplace where you can register yourself as a teacher and you can sell your course. And getting yourself registered is completely free. As a student, you can find innumerable courses on Udemy from every category you can think you can imagine of. You can find courses on photography. You can find courses if you want to learn any language. You can find that course there like even generic languages. And if you want to learn any uh, technical languages like Python, C, C++ or PHP, these kind of languages, then you can even learn soft skills, communication skills, storytelling and digital marketing. Like I said, everything that you can possibly imagine and even few medical courses. So I searched if there are any courses related to BHMS. So there are few courses, but not specifically for BHMS or not specifically for PG entrance exams, but mostly clinical related courses. And like I said, I was into preparing students for competitive exams. So I thought to myself, let me also make a course and upload it on Udemy. And let's see if students are interested in purchasing my course, if the course is useful to students. So I made a course on Materia Medica, but I made it on a very different way. I made it quite different because you see uh, in Pulse Coaching Institute, the way that we teach Materia Medica is very different because most of the students at Pulse are preparing for competitive exams. So we prepare Materia Medica, we teach Materia Medica from the perspective of MCQs. But I always feel this that when you are in your BHMS, when a student is in their first BHMS, second BHMS, third BHMS, when you are being taught your drugs, say for example, you are taught aconite in your college. Now, I always feel that when you are taught this, you should simultaneously be also taught what are the important MCQs that you need to prepare from aconite. And in this way, if you prepare Materia Medica, it will become easier for you when finally you have to appear in the competitive exam. So when you are taught about the fever of aconite, when you are taught about the mental symptom of aconite, when you're taught about the causation, when you're taught about the modalities and these things for your BHMS exams, the restlessness, I want you to also study few things related to your competitive exams. For example, when you are taught about the restlessness of aconite, I also want you to know the restlessness of arsenic. I also want you to know the restlessness of brinia, the restlessness of rustax and how the restlessness of arsenic and how are you going to differentiate be it in your clinics, be it in your MCQ exams. When you are given an MCQ, how do you identify that this restlessness symptom is from aconite, from arsenic, from brinia, from rustax, which symptom? For example, there is a mental symptom in aconite that is music is unbearable, makes her sad. Now this similar symptom is also present in Sabina. This similar symptom is also present in natrum carb. This similar symptom is also present in Thuja, in graphitis, in natrum self. But there are few few differences that you need to understand. For example, in aconite, the symptom is music is unbearable, makes her sad. Same line is in Sabina also. So for MCQ, your answer will be aconite and Sabina. But in graphite is the symptom is music makes her weep. In natrum car, it is aggravation from music. In natrum self, the symptom is lively music makes her sad. And in Thuja, music causes weeping and trembling. So only weeping is in graphitis, but in Thuja, music causes weeping and trembling. Weeping plus trembling is Thuja. So this was the way I wanted you to teach Materia Medica drug by drug. But the problem is that there are around 188 drugs in your Allen's keynote alone. And these 188 drugs are taught in a span of around five years. 
so me teaching drug by drug will take a lot of time because say in your second bhms only there are around 50 medicines these 50 medicines are taught in one year and that too not by a single teacher by multiple teachers so what i did at that time i picked up five polycrest medicines made a course out of it these five polycrest medicines aconite arsenic and these kind of medicines and this course turned to be of around 7 hours and 7 hours is a pretty lengthy course but i managed to complete this course in 3 months and uh, those 3 months i remember i had worked the most in my entire life in those 3 months because apart from everything that was already going on my clinic then managing pulse teaching in pulse then uploading youtube videos that time i was uh, regularly uploading youtube videos at least one video i was uploading per week so on top of that i had to take out time to make this course because uh, during the making of this course i had to record i had to edit i had to upload means everything was done by me so in those 3 months i had slept very less i utilized each and every minute of it as much as possible as i could and finally at the end of 3 months my course was ready and i uploaded it on udemy with the expectation that in course of around 2 uh, months if around 40 to 50 students enroll in my course then i would consider that my course is useful to students and i would continue making more and more courses more and more lectures more and more i would i would cover more and more drugs on materia medica down the line so if you have been following my youtube channel from long ago then you must be knowing that i announced my courses on udemy on youtube i made a video out of it and uh, uh, even if you go back and check around two and a half years ago you will see that my course of materia medica and this announcement and all i already made on youtube and guess what happened after that i got 100 plus enrollments in just two months and i was super excited because my pilot project was successful and if money wise you would ask me i made around 900 to 1000 dollars in just a span of two months and that was a pretty good money for a side hustle you know when you first invest in uh, in a stock market then every few minutes every few hours you keep on checking what are the growth how much your money has grown so even i used to do that like uh, when my course went live and there were enrollments coming every few minutes every few hours i used to refresh i used to pull down the uh, refresh button and check if there are new enrollments or not and every time i refresh there were one enrollments one new enrollment two new enrollments so all these things uh, like it was that, that was a very nice feeling at that time because you know it feels nice when you plan out something and it goes according to your plan so anyways moving forward after 2 months there were two things which were absolutely clear to me one was that i can teach materia medica student like the way i teach materia medica because uh, i got reviews from a lot of students personally and on udemy also the about my course on materia medica and second i can sell my course because i'll tell you the students who purchased the course i promoted my course myself okay like if 100 students enrolled in my course on udemy around 99 students were sent by me means they students personally knew me they followed me and what i did i utilized the pulse reach to sell my courses because a lot of you might not be knowing me personally but you know pulse coaching institute and i utilize that platform to sell my courses because this course is also related to the similar type of students who want to prepare for entrance exam who want to who are in their bhms so i utilize pulse platform and i was able to reach so many students so these two things were absolutely clear to me after realizing these two things i stopped promoting my course because an idea struck me the idea was that i wanted to build my own platform similar to udemy where not only me anyone from homeopathy if anyone wants to teach if anyone wants to upload their courses they will be able to do so so a platform similar to udemy but only for the field of homeopathy so i started the project and i had this confidence because earlier to this i had built a lot of websites okay 
and the website the pulse website that you see today that has been designed by me even the pulse app that you visit today that has been designed by me in after just covid when there was lockdown i had learned graphic designing during that time i utilized that time because there were no clinic only coaching was online coaching was going on so i had time so i utilized that time in learning graphic designing and all and the pulse app and the website that you visit today has been absolutely designed means to each individual pages what 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 where will the buttons be what will be the buttons do what how what will be the color theme what will be the logo each and everything has been designed by me so i had few experiences and i had few idea about it so i wanted to build this platform myself so i started the work on this platform and let me tell you this was a much larger task than what i had earlier imagined starting from scratch going from each and every aspect of the website of each and every page how will the users register what will be the logo what will be the name how to register how to get enrolled how the teachers are going to upload their courses how the teachers are going to sell their courses each and every functionality has to be first jotted down on a piece of paper ki this thing i want this has to be made this needs to be done this needs to be done in a different way after that i had to sit with the even the graphic designer i had to sit and design the every each and every aspect of it and i got into touch with few developers i got them working on it and there were so many challenges that came up during this developing process how will this functionality work like for example there was an issue with the payment gateway so i had to finally get few documentations done multiple courses are getting selected and if the student is applying a discount coupon so how will the functionality work how will the system know ke okay, this discount coupon is for which particular course and these kind of little little challenges are the things that takes up your time but cut the story short solving one problem at a time it took me almost 2 years to complete the entire project and i believe that i am a nurse forming a patient because each and every thing that i do has to be meticulously done by me until and unless i feel that it has been perfectly done so it took me around 2 years and in this span of uh, like one year earlier i used to work and along with that i also uploaded youtube videos as you can see but for the past one and a one and a half years i wasn't able to upload youtube videos and i uploaded just few post mentioning that i am preoccupied with some work so i am not able to make youtube videos so i wasn't making youtube videos for this past one and a one and a half years because making means simultaneously doing this work and making youtube video and already there were things coaching was going on teaching was going on clinic was going on so managing all these things were getting very difficult so i had to stop making youtube videos and i took a break from youtube for one and one and a half years and i completed this project so now talking about my venture the name of this venture is part time bhms academy same name as the course that i uploaded on udemy so the name is part time bhms academy ptba the website is ptba.in so when you go there you will find few courses that i have already uploaded you will find two modules of pateria medica that i have uploaded basically what i am right now doing is uh, i have uh, picked 50 medicines out of these 50 medicines i have divided them into five modules means each module having 10 medicines because you know that teaching each and every medicine takes time so two modules have already been completed and uploaded and i am already working on the third module so by the time you complete watching the videos of these two modules the third module would probably be uploaded but there is an offer from my side the price of each module is 1000 rupees but the first 50 students are going to get 400 rupees off using the discount coupon that i'll put in the description of this video so make sure you use the discount coupon and remember it is only for the first 50 students apart from my courses there are also courses from other teachers on from of different subjects some teaching medicine some teaching pharmacy some teaching organ and so you can check out those courses at well most of the teachers are from pulse and renowned teachers they can really teach well so hence their course are on this platform and one more important thing if you can teach if you can think that you can teach well and you can make a good course out of it then make your course and upload it on ptba.in because this platform is not only for students it is also for teachers so as a teacher if you can upload a course the rest the selling part of that will be taken care of by the platform the only thing as a teacher that you need to do is you need to make an engaging course you need to make a useful course for the students a demanding course that the students want 
and the promotion part the advertising part and the selling part will be taken care of by the platform that is the responsibility of the platform the course making part is your responsibility the selling part is platform's responsibility so starting today the platform is open for registration see you in my material media course